any specific challenge, you know, when you talk about uh, uh, regulations, which has, to, you mentioned, it has to be European and preferably German. Uh, what are the challenges that are there when companies do face, because OpenStack in the early days, you know, uh, uh, T-Mobile, they had their own cloud, other, you know, actually OpenStack become quite popular in Europe because of the whole, uh, the whole hyperscaler market was US-based earlier. But uh, uh, how much problem they have solved and what problem that you are seeing that are still there where, you know, it's not a, hey, you flip the button, move to OpenStack, move to Kubernetes, and all your problems are solved. Well, I think the problems we've seen is, is, um, is twofold, maybe threefold. The first layer is your automation layer. So if you use a tool that talks to infrastructure, in our case, for example, Gardner, a Kubernetes on demand, uh, a module that we, um, that we use, um, you know, the, there are maybe some assumptions about the underlying OpenStack in there. And that may not, you know, be in conjunction with the particular OpenStack you're talking to. The next level is OpenStack itself. So OpenStack itself is, is a problem for many companies, just to operate OpenStack, not doing anything wrong. So it's just that some things in OpenStack are problematic. And this, the, the third layer would be whoever operates OpenStack needs to know OpenStack very well. It, you know. The, the, the hardware must be organized in a very particular way and integrated with, with, their, with their networking. You know, that must be done perfectly. What we experience is, is problems like, you know, you use an API call and say, give me a router, and you don't get a router. Or give me a load balancer, but you don't get a load balancer. So basic things like that, they fail. Sometimes these uh, OpenStack-based services are marked as, as beta, so that they are working on it. But it's... Um, it's interesting. You can go to China and you know get an Amazon-like experience, you know at least for basic compute and so on on AliCloud, for example. But where where is that replacement here in Europe? We are still looking for it. So Kubernetes is a good guess as an infrastructure abstraction, um, and I think that's that's um, an interesting takeaway that that I've been you know. I've been publicly stating this hypothesis for many years, and it it, it seems to it seems to be um, holding to this day. 